Hello everyone and thank you for watching this video update. We are very excited to share Endeavor Silver's 2020 production results and more so our outlook for 2021. There are many macroeconomic factors and internal catalysts, both that will drive shareholder value as the outlook for silver remains very positive looking forward and the company's organic growth profile remains exceptional. Now, before we get started, I am required to remind you that we will be making forward-looking statements within the meaning of applicable securities laws, so you are duly cautioned. And despite the challenges presented by the pandemic, precious metals have delivered very strong returns in 2020, with silver being a top-performing asset class, delivering almost 50% return on spot, while gold returned 25%. Consequently, and as a result of Endeavor's leverage to a rising silver price, our stock performance has made notable gains. Firstly, I'd like to commend our management team for their commitment to safety and for adapting quickly to our COVID-19 protocols and outperforming in the second half of this year. Our workforce has been diligent in reducing the spread of the virus allowing us to limit its impact on our operations and in our communities. During 2020, we tested close to 60% of our workforce with PCRs and rapid tests and are committed to continue to further improve our protocols to help reduce the spread. Our community relations team continues to make a positive difference. We've deployed significant resources to support community health programs with materials such as masks, cleaning supplies, rapid tests, doctors, and medical equipment. During 2020, we've also maintained our focus on supporting education in Mexico and have increased our investment into the annual scholarship program, particularly doubling our commitment at Guanacaste. To date, we've donated over 450 tablets to students of all ages to assist with virtual education and skills workshops for employability. Our 2020 Safety Culture Change Program has led to positive trends in safety KPIs. This is an area within our company that needed improvement. Both the LTI frequency and the LTI severity rates have continued to trend down, indicating that the risk awareness is taking place throughout our minds. We delivered strong operational performance in the face of the pandemic, posting our highest quarterly production in over two years with 2.1 million silver equivalent ounces. This represents an increase over Q3 of 21%, primarily due to our higher throughput. While we formally withdrew our annual guidance in April due to the uncertainty surrounding the pandemic, we ended 2020 by achieving the midpoint of our original guidance, despite nearly a two-month shutdown producing 6.5 million silver equivalent ounces in 2020. From a liquidity standpoint, we're exiting 2020 with over 60 million in cash, no long-term debt, and anticipate 2021 will provide a healthy increase to our treasury from our operating cash flows and proceeds from closing the sale of El Cubo. Having completed the operational turnarounds at Guanacaste and Bolanidos, we are forecasting relatively steady state performance in 2021. Our production and cost guidance for 2021 assumes that operations will continue during the year without any major interruptions related to COVID-19. However, this guidance has considered certain costs and constraints from COVID-19. Our 2021 production is expected to achieve six to seven million silver equivalent ounces from our three operating mines. We're guiding consolidated cash costs and net of gold credit of $7 to $8 per ounce and all-in sustaining costs of $19 to $20 per ounce, with direct costs per ton to be in the $105 to $115 range. This forecast includes royalties and special mining duties, which are both anticipated to be higher in 2021 due to the higher metal prices and improved profitability at the operations. Twenty twenty was a transformational year for Guanacaste as grades and throughput improved, leading to a forty nine percent increase in production year over year. Looking to twenty twenty one, production will average eleven 1 hundred tons per day from the Malachi and SES ore bodies, along with the high grade El Curso property at a higher proportion than last year, representing over fifty percent of the twenty twenty one mine plan. The El Curso ore body has delivered robust grades, and we expect a similar grade profile for twenty twenty one. You may recall from our lease agreement, this area is subject to a sliding scale royalty payment based on the silver spot prices. With stronger silver prices, our overall cost per ounce will increase, 
which is reflected in our consolidated cost outlook. Production from this area results in higher costs, but due to the higher grades, provides higher margins. So while direct operating costs are similar overall, the projected cost per tonne, including the royalty payment, will be higher. We are investing $16.7 million on capital projects, of which $7 million will go towards 7 kilometers of development, and $9.5 million will go towards various items such as upgrading the fleet and the plant, as, as well as ra raising our tailings to accommodate a longer mine life. Last year, we undertook significant investment into Bolonitos and the operational turnaround is now complete as we ended Q4 operating close to capacity at the highest level since 2018 and with production up 46% year over year. In 2021, production will average 1,050 tons per day from a relatively equal blend of ore from La Luz, Plateros and San Miguel. The operation is now steady state and we are modeling a grade profile of 2 gram gold and 40 gram silver and direct operating costs similar to 2020. At Bolognitos, we're investing $14 million on capital projects, including $7.8 million for 5.3 kilometers of mine development and $5.9 million to upgrade the fleet, support infrastructure, raise the tailings dam, and commence a new portal on the Bell End property. Our drill rigs continue to extend underground veins that will support the continued investment into the long-term future of Bolognitos. Regarding El Compass, we are anticipating production until sometime in mid-2021. The current resource is sufficient to support mining until this time, however management is reviewing a number of alternative plans and opportunities in the area. This company has been built by the drill bit, and 2021 will be no exception. We are excited to commit over $10 million to exploration activities, reflecting our belief that our discovery and expansion potential is significant. Our largest exploration expenditure will be at Terranera, where we plan to drill targets from the newly acquired concessions of La Cuotas and Cerro Gordo. At Peral, we will refocus on growing our resources as COVID-19 impacted our ability to drill in 2020. Additionally, we will drill our Paloma Sulfidation Epithermal Gold target in Chile this year. Most importantly, we've approved a $9 million budget to advance Terranera, which includes the cost of completing a feasibility study by this summer, building out the project team, site prep, and sourcing and securing long lead items so we can move ahead quickly on completion of the feasibility study. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. We look forward to announcing our year-end financial results on the 1st of March, and we are always available for questions offline, so don't hesitate to reach out. While 2021 will bring new challenges, we are very excited by the opportunities that await us, and we strive to continuously improve and deliver for all of our stakeholders.